a former medical technician at OU Physicians is facing four sexual battery charges. He is accused of touching patients inappropriately. Now three of his alleged victims are taking him to court. News Force Caitlin Ogle has details. The victim's attorney says he believes more women are out there who experience the same thing. Meanwhile, the defense attorneys say this is all because he didn't have enough training and sometimes he had to train himself. So the idea that we got to him now and have identified him as a sexual predator now probably saved countless victims. He truly did nothing wrong. In 2021, police were called to investigate complaints about Johnny Nguyen. The medical student worked at OU Health as an EKG technician. Court documents show several women alleged Nguyen had them stripped from the waist up, even though they had told him that was a first. Some women say Nguyen then touched their breast inappropriately with the palms of his hands and beyond the scope of an EKG. All of the witnesses who testified agreed that, that there was no indication outwardly that he was getting any type of gratification whatsoever. One saying he lifted her, quote, right breast and held it while he cleaned the left side of the victim's chest, then held the victim's left breast while cleaning the left side of her chest. Both of my women will say it felt weird. It felt strange and they left feeling dirty. He was applying leads or attempting to in a place where you have to touch a woman's breasts to attach those leads. He was very, very poorly trained by OU Medical and was doing the best he could. Court documents do show Nguyen was retrained several times. He was told to, to kind of figure it out on his own. He was told to, to, to look it up on YouTube by OU. But both sides agree someone else should have also been in the room. Because it sets both OU and our now client up for exactly this. They're not going to change. Chaperones aren't going to be free. They're going to have to hire people to do that. In Oklahoma City, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Wynn has a court hearing next month to address the criminal charges that are against him. Meanwhile, OU Health says they can't comment on pending litigation, but they do say Nguyen has not worked at OU Health since June of 2021, and employees must go through background checks. OU did not address the training allegations and instead sent this statement saying, OU Health is focused on providing a healing environment for our patients and takes the safety and security of our patients and team members very seriously.